Exit, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. All right, good morning, Lou. Good morning, nice to see you. Great how are you? you? Great, how are you? I good, I have a question. Um, do you think, Lauren, that if I showed you how to install under cabinet lighting, you could do it? Yes. Well, see, this is going to be, this morning is going to be perfect already. I mean, <laughs> let's just stop right there. Thanks for watching, what everybody. Did I uh, what would you do? Just like cut the feed? Well, because the, the woman that normally sits in your seat would say no. <laughs> so I'm Absolutely so glad not. to get a yes uh, out of you. Okay, I think that there's a lot of people that have kind of a dark area in their kitchen, and maybe they don't want to invest in, you know, an electrician to come and do all this work. Well, there are these great under cabinet lighting kits that, uh, in those dark areas of the kitchen that you can install and they actually plug in. So uh, take a look here. I've got a, 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 a an image of a, a dark area, like imagine like that sink area where it's really dark, the light is behind you and maybe you wanna add some under cabinet lights. Now there's battery ones that you can stick up, but they really aren't that great and they don't give off the kind of light that you want. Now in this particular kitchen, there's a couple of outlets and one in particular tucked in the corner right there that I'm gonna use. You need one of these LED under cabinet light uh, fixtures, uh, extension cord, because it's never gonna be long enough. And then you need what's called coax staples. Now you're gonna drill a hole under the cabinet like this and you wanna make sure that you choose a drill bit that is big enough for the extension cord to fit through. This is key because if the hole is too small and you make a big hole like that, it's not going to work. And now we're going to drill a hole in the area where the light fixture is going to go. And there's that hole coming in. That's the cabinet above the sink. Now this is the area above the sink. So I'm going to drill about three holes to do this. I know Lauren, you know, now you're a little nervous. But yeah, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm rescinding my previous. Yeah, no, that's just that so now simple. Here's the, here's the fixture. It's just a small little 16 inch fixture that you're gonna screw into place. And it just comes with two screws. I like to do it by hand, not with a screw gun because you don't wanna break the fixture. And so you tighten that up underneath uh, the cabinet itself. And then from there, with these light fixtures, depending on how much you wanna light up, you can actually loop these together. They give you these daisy chains that you can do one after another. The nice thing about being LED is that they use hardly any electricity whatsoever. They don't get hot at all. So now you're gonna feed the wire through the holes that you just put in the back of the cabinet, right? So you're not gonna see any of this because once we put the glasses or the plates, whatever it is in there, it's fine and it's perfectly safe to do. Now, where I poke that up inside there, I'm gonna use one of those coax cable brackets that you're gonna hold it in place. You see how it's holding the uh, uh, wire in there and I'm just gonna take the hammer and pop it up in there to hold it in place. And I'm gonna do that throughout the cabinets as well. And then bingo, I've got a nice new light. So when I'm working at the sink, I can switch that on or off. It's a great light to leave at night as a night light for kids getting up in the middle of the night. And that whole project probably costs you about $25 total. You can do it. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> Check out House Smarts on Saturday afternoons on WGN at 3.30. Lou, of course, is also on WGN Radio with the show House Smarts Radio. Catch it on Saturdays from 6 to 10 a.m. Thanks, Lou. You got it.